If you come across an app in the Google Play Android market that has indicated that your device isn't compatible with this version, if you discover that said app is in fact compatible and can run on a different Android device that runs a lower Android operating system version than you, as it turns out, the chances of you being able to transfer said app to your main Android device and run said app are high. You just have to know how to perform the workaround and this video will show you how to do this. So in this scenario I'm told that now in this example I'm just I'm using the Oasis dating app as an example but it could be any app that you are told isn't compatible with this version. And as you could tell under settings under about device my Android version is 5.1.1 however on a different Android device under settings about device under and uh, I am told that the Android version is 4.3 yet on this temporary device lo and behold in this example the Oasis dating app can be installed which means it's compatible so does this mean that the in this example the Oasis dating app that is compatible with an Android 4.3 device can in fact work on an Android 5.1.1 device the chances are high. So I'm going to show you how I work around this issue. Essentially I take the temporary Android device, the one running the lower Android version. What I do is after I establish that I can in fact install, in this case the problematic app, what I do is in the Google Play Android market on the temporary Android device I look for the letters APK. I find an app known as APK Extractor by Meher. I download and install this app. Once downloaded and installed, once again in the Google Play Android market, once again on the temporary device, I search for the problematic app. By the way, just a footnote, if you see a price indication in green in the Google Play Android market, chances are the app you are trying to download can be downloaded and can be installed in this example on the temporary device of course so I find the app in question I now install it I agree to the terms it downloads it installs once it completes its installation I do not uninstall I do not open rather I return to the home screen and run the famous APK extractor by Maher once APK Extractor is opened, I'm going to find the entry for the app in question that I wish to transfer. In this example, it's the Oasis Dating app. I'm going to tap on the name of the app. Tap on the name of the app, and I'm told that it is extracted to path, blah, 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 blah. Great. What I then need to do is I need to find a way to transfer the APK, that is to say, the app installer file from my temporary device to my main device. Now there's many ways to do this. You could do so via Bluetooth, you could do so via email, many ways. You could do so through cloud storage. In this example I'm going to do so through an SD card and the reason I'm doing this through SD card is because both my temporary device and my main device both have File Explorer apps on them. File Explorer apps are not a standard part of, Andro of the Android operating system. Some Android operating system developers include them, others don't. Mine, both of mine did, I was fortunate. So I insert a, an SD card into my temporary Android device, the one that downloaded and successfully installed both the problematic app and the APK extractor by Meher. I enter my file manager. I go into the extracted APKs folder of my internal storage. I find the app in question. I select it. I then copy it. I navigate to my SD card. I perform edit paste. I paste the app. As you can see, all of these apps have been pasted, including our example app in this example onto the SD card. From there I eject the SD card. I return to my main Android device. I go into settings followed by security. I go under security I enable 
allow installation of apps from unknown sources, unknown sources. You're going to receive a warning message saying that this can cause harm and identity theft. This is all true if you start installing apps willy-nilly that you find on the web or from torrents or other sketchy sources. In this example, I showed you how to back up an APK installer app from an app we downloaded from the Google Play Android market, so you know the source. Does APK Extractor by Meher install any nefarious code or any other malicious software into the APK? I have no clue. I have no idea who Meher is or how reliable that app is. I just know it works for me, so proceed at your own risks and perils. On your main device, after enabling installation of apps from unknown sources, what you do is you then get you then, you then transfer the APK over to the main device. In this case, I did it through SD card, inserted the SD card. Once again, I have a file explorer here, tapped on SD card, found the APK in question, the installer file, I tapped on it. I was told all of the permissions I'll need to grant. I agree in this case. Click on, or tap on install, I should say. It installs, apt installed, open, and guess what? My device runs the app in question, despite that I was told by the Google Play Android market that it was incompatible with my device. Well, there you go. I'll leave you with that. I hope this information helps, and as usual, all the best.